Creeks are a lovely thing to do they're, because they're so dynamic and it has all the elements that are, that are, that'll bring children and families together. Our backyard was quite a bit of a disaster and we really hesitated to go back there. It was flat and barren with no character. Um, the lawn was a disaster, there was nothing but weeds. Uh, we did a bit of research and uh, found that uh, William uh, and Plantum might do a really good job and, and give us some ideas about what to do with it. We're very happy with what's transpired. We're engaged to just renovate the backyard to start with and we come up with a concept originally of just putting some paths and, and some planting in so that the kids could have something to play in. And so then we come up with the idea of putting the creek in, but also using it as a dual purpose because we've got uh, rainwater that comes off the back of the house which runs through the yard too. So then we come up with the concept of using a dry creek and then putting in a, a, a wet creek or a disappearing creek uh, into the same systems. Our grandkids love it now. They, they think it's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> the grandkids like to sit in the water and splash in it and they get buckets of water and take it to the sand pit and make sand castles. Um, and it's really nice just sitting on the bench back there and listening to the water and having a gin and tonic or a glass of wine. The thing about building the creeks, we're using natural elements like rocks and so rocks never come in the same shape every time and so we've got to mix and match to make it do what we want it to do and so yeah while we are learning how to do it and we're developing our own skills each creek is going to be unique in its own little aspects because of the elements that we use part of our theme about changing lives with gardens is that's what it does it's going to bring the family together and create that family space so that's going to change people's lives <laughs>